billboards and pan pan ramp pana pana oh never mind let's just start the video okay so let's take a look at billboards so this is a billboard and it should give you a default tree click now you can click on these and you can move these around a little bit move this one in the back and so yes if you make some tree assets can you move them around yes can you create a png file of your own personal trees and customize them absolutely now over here it says rotate and follow camera if we click off of that then you can see that i mean it's still kind of doing it i guess but not for all of them so these are individual So this one isn't rotating. Okay. So now if I rotate around, you can see that they are flat images on both sides. Now, the interesting thing about this is I have over here, if I go in and click, if I go down to, it's not allocate, it is panorama, Primitive. Okay. Got to go to primitive and you can see I have my picture right here. Uh, and if I wanted to, if I go to materials, <laughs> these are all my materials. I got a lot of materials there. But let's, uh, let's, let's find something useful here. Uh, you know what? Let me type in tree. There we go. Uh, this is a tree that I drew. So this is, these are my sketch trees. Let's pick something that looks like mine. And I hit OK. Now all of a sudden, there we go. And now my tree is there. My own custom tree is there. Now, uh, if I click on to this one, and I want to go back again and I want to change this and let's say well I want a figure there I can either go file and I have this ex external uh, uh, file here and let's just say I pick this hovering I, I have this in my files or whatever but I have this character now all of a sudden it changes so now I'm like wait a minute this character if I move this character over here needs to be way smaller than a tree. He's not that big. So I need to size him down a little bit. And the cool thing about having things that like rotate and follow the camera is that if I turn all these back on to rotate and follow the camera, and I'm rotating, it follows the camera. Check a look at that. So I can change my composition and everything. Could even get a little wacky here. Bring out a primitive. And I can scale this and in, in, in all of that other good stuff. So I want to make this tower. And uh, you just got to kind of walk around a little bit and see. Now you can kind of change your composition of things. And that's what that's what you can do. And also, just to let you know, I have this plane over here, obviously. Now I have this plane, and I want to go to File. Actually, let me go with the wrench here. Go to materials and I grab this figure. I could do that as well. And I don't think I just think I have the lights turned off here because this figure is awfully dark, and I'm not trying to make it be dark. 
but you can see I have the figure here, so I would I would probably have to go back in. I I think something. Let's take this wireframe off here. If I go back in, let's see what I got here. Uh, I'm not quite sure why it's it's showing up a bit darker. It should not be. I think it was light source. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see here. Oh, wait a minute. Am I? There we go. I just had the light source a little bit off. So you can also change the light source and rotate follow camera. <laughs> So you can play with the light sources and everything there with that. So also, lastly, well, let's leave this here. If you go up here to panorama, there are different panoramas. Now, this is my panorama test. So let me let me just do this. So this is like a default material cannot be completely downloaded from the cloud. Oh yeah, okay. So sometimes it 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 may not it may not be all the way downloaded just yet. Now it's going to download for me. This is fine. I'm glad that you can see this. Um, so I got to wait. Let me put this on pause because you you shouldn't have to wait here. Let me put it on pause. Oh, I do want to show I do want to show you something right up here. This will show you where your how you got that little number up there. If you click onto that, it's going to show you the material is downloading and it's checking for updates and doing that other stuff. It's good to keep Clip Studio Paint running like that. So yeah, pause again. OK, so now so you also you can see because I really didn't I didn't have this uh, maximized. But if I had this is cl obviously it's giving me the universal download symbol. So takes a second to load up and now it's got a panorama view here and the cool thing about the panorama view is it's a true panorama view look at that uh now what i did because i don't I, I i was thinking about like how do i actually paint this myself i haven't figured it out yet i'm sure there is something that you can make your own panorama but we also i was also able to let's get rid of this i was also able to download there are free panoramas online hdri hdri panoramas and look i was let's see here okay so that is my texture okay this this one's a little bit heavier so this might even crash but I just wanted to see if, like, can you download other panoramas? Because what 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 I was gonna do is kind of paint over this or grab like a panorama and see if I can reproduce it in a way. So this is taking me a bit. So I don't know if it's gonna crash. I'm gonna hit pause in case it. Well, I can't do anything right now. Okay. So we hit OK. I wasn't trying to save this. Hit cancel. Oh, because I hit the, the plus button here. So you can see my plane is way back there. Let me... I am it's well it's not doing exactly how I wanted this to go uh, so it's not giving me the whole huh unfortunately it was able to download but it's not really able to move as much because I did download a few of them to test so okay I can zoom in and out but I cannot seem to rotate now. Okay, so uh, a little bit of trial and error there. Uh, 
Let's see, operation. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not able to. Yeah, so I'm not. So when you download the panoramas, they're not. I'm not able to really move these around. Uh, I get no. I can't even bring the sub menu up here. So, not quite sure. But uh, they do. But it. Let's let's let. You know what? Let's look for. Let's go to our Go uh, Studio. Now I don't know. I, I I thought that I was able to move that around before. Just to be blatantly honest with you, I thought I was able to move it around when I first downloaded those. Uh, and there could be something that I'm not doing wrong, or something that I am doing wrong. Uh, I'm gonna let this load up. And well, actually, let's let's see if anybody's made any panoramas. Panorama. Okay. Well, I mean, look. <laughs> Okay, so we got a bunch of panoramas here. Uh, spherical panorama. There's a bunch of different panoramas here. So I would just kind of go with what's on here. There are some free ones. Uh, yeah, we got some different panoramas for skies and stuff. And that's really all you needed for us for skies, honestly. Uh, because you can use the... You can use the both the planes and the billboards to fill in things like trees or houses. Maybe you drew a house, uh, you drew a bunch of houses. And so now this kind of changes a little bit the way that you work. So now you can just. Uh, now you can just create assets almost like they're 3D, but they'll be 2D. So you can see I got my little character hiding down there. This little character, he's hiding back there. But you can see he's just a 2D plane. That's all he is. I mean, I have him rotating with the camera, but that's cool because now you can change your composition a little bit. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do. All right, there you go. Uh, the last thing, um, we're going to finish this up with the last lesson. I want to show you guys uh, just the 3D models and the posing and stuff because uh, that will help you out. All right, see you in the next video.